Alright, we've just finished doing the duplication glitch, so we're still in white run. So, there's the front gate. Come running all the way up here. You can buy all sorts of stuff in Belithor's goods. But where we're going is Arcadia's Cauldron. Got something for just about everybody in here. So, we're in here for a bunch of reasons. One, if you're just starting off the game, it's one of the first big towns you're going to come to. Two, everybody pretty much knows where White Run is. She is a alchemy trainer, which is super awesome, and she's if got a table. I can help you with, so she might have some ingredients that you want. What do you need, my friend? Take a look. I'm not going to buy anything, but she may have some stuff that you just don't have. Oh, there's a salt pile right there. And snowberries for enchanting. So, she's got stuff. Uh, also, if you want to sell stuff to her. But, this is what I we want. I think I can teach you a thing or two. She will level you up five. For every level that you are. So. The things that you're going to need. Is your alchemy tree. You are going to need the first alchemist out of five, which is requires 15 skills. You're going to need the second one that requires 20 skills. If you can get the third one, that's awesome. You'll go so much faster. I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. You're also going to need physician. And then Benefactor, which we don't have enough to get Benefactor yet, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So, Benefactor, Physician, and at least two out of five of Alchemist. So, because we did the duplication glitch, we have a ton of ingredients. Alright, so we are now going to hop into the lab. If and we're going to go to our quick list. If you don't have this quick list on the side, then you just haven't eaten or you either haven't eaten the ingredients or you haven't made a potion. So if this is if you're just starting out in the game, you're obviously not going to have this. I offer remedies but for ailments, both the easiest way to get the quick Do reference is make a potion out of stuff. So I've already told you there's five things that you can do and Fortify Restoration will pop up. So I'm going to pick the two biggest that I have. There's 500, 500. And if you look down on the bottom right, I'm just going to make enough potions, because I have so many available doing the duplication glitch, tonics, to get my alchemy salves, from just over 20% all the, the way to 40%. To you don't have content. to go to 40 if you don't want to, but why not? It makes the, restor the restoration glitch go faster. And actually totally forego that if you wanted to you could just use all of your ingredients and get your alchemy to 100 i mean that's that's up to I you it's going to take a while but to ask but at, i mean it's your game you do whatever you want it's you know there's pretty much no rules There's you can actually, all those potions you just made, you can sell them to her. You look rather... Take a look. Okay. Come back so, anytime you can you're either ready. give them to your companion, or just drop them on the ground. Since I don't really care and I don't need them, and they're at a low level, I'm just going to drop them on the ground. Alright, let's go into our perk tree. So now we have 40 alchemy. Two of five is the bare minimum, but three of five is perfect. We've already got physician, and now we need benefactor. All right. The other thing that we need bare minimum is we need some apparel. So you're going to need bracers or gloves. 
I've made these. The average that you can get around is anywhere from it's like 6 to 12. Uh, I've seen them as low as 2. I've seen them as high as 23, I think. I think I bought a pair of gauntlets. It was like 23. It's ridiculous. The other thing you're going to need is a helmet or a circlet, which is the little tiara crown looking thing. You're going to need a necklace and you have to have a ring. So you have to have those four things. You also have to have in your perk tree the first four perks. One and two of five of alchemy, physician and benefactor. All right, so down and dirty, nitty gritty. This is what's going to happen. I offer remedies you hop into the lab. Common and rare. Do let me know if I can be of service. You make a potion. You get out of the lab. You go into your items. You drink that potion. And then your specific alchemy gear, you take it off. And you put it right back on. So, we're already up to 13%. The first potion we made was around like 30 something. These potion, the one that we just drank was like 40 something. And that's because we did three of five of alchemy at the, the first perk in the tree. So then you get out, you go back into the lab. And basically you just do it over and over and over and over again. So that potion was at 83%. Make your potion, get out of the lab, drink your potion. Take your stuff off and you put it back on. That's it. Just, But you have to do it as fast as you can because the potions only last for 60 seconds. Once they're done, that's it. So it's not going to be forever. And the other thing that a lot of people were asking about, and I tried to respond to it, but it's easier just to explain. When your apparel gets up to ridiculous ranges like... 50,000, you know, it's at 18 now, but when it goes up to like 50,000, that is only, it, it doesn't permanently do it. It only does it because you've drank the restoration potion. So once your restoration effects disappear like that, once that's gone, your, your gear is going to go right back down. So, and the way to combat that, and I call it leapfrogging, is while you're doing this, you can make enchanting potions and <clears throat> make some new alchemy gear at a higher level. Like mine started at 9. It's not going to be super high when you do it, but maybe you can make a new pair that's at, you know, 18. And you're obviously going to start at a higher level. So our gear is now at twenty-one percent. We started out at if there's anything I can nine. Do, you have but to ask. All right, so let's try and go a little bit faster here. And it comes with practice. I mean, you're you're not. Well, you might be. Um, you're not going to be the greatest right off the bat. I remember back when I first started trying this, I was like, this stupid thing doesn't work. They must have patched it or whatever. It's not patched. The game's been out for ever. If they were going to patch it by now, it, it would have happened. And it's, was it April 12th or something of 2019? So trust me, it still works. And this actually works on Nintendo. Do let me know if it's I always going to work on PC because you can just rewrite code for that. Uh, it works on Xbox, Xbox One, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, 4 Pro, and PlayStation VR. Which I don't think they miss Skyrim on any other platform. I will say it's a little harder to do on the VR. Salves, poultices, and or at least for me, it just, I don't know, it just to your heart. like messes with you. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so we're 
drink the potion. All right, so our gear or apparel is already at 33%. So it went from nine to 33. Salves, poultices, and potions on that my potion shelves. was 3,000. And I'm going at a good speed. I mean, I'm still talking, but I'm not rushing, which, you know, the faster you go, the better you're going to be. Okay, that one went from three grand to 18,000. Now, if you do decide to go really, really high, like in the hundreds or, yeah, if the hundreds of millions, you're going to break it because it's a glitch. The computer can only handle so much. The an hour potion 1,600. So if you'll get the blue screen and then you'll have to start all over again. So it's a pain in the butt. That's why I say save often and don't get overzealous. 480,000. Well, actually, wait, what? It was 480, and when I made it, it went to 490. I offer rest. These for All right, well, that's why they call it a glitch. It's not, I mean, the creators put it in there, but it's not, it's not by any means perfect. Yeah, come on, look at that. That's... <laughs> 330 million. And alchemy's now up to 100. Alright, let's see what our gear is at. It's gonna be stupid. 29 million. I would say just kind of don't go any higher than that. Um. I mean, you can, and there's a fine line of how high you can get. And at some point, your gear or your apparel is going to have a negative in front of your percentage, which means it's doing the opposite of what you want it. And it's basically just useless. So you're going to have to sit there and wait as your potions diminish. So what we're going to do is we've got enough for restoration. You know, we've, we've got ourselves up there enough. Now we're going to make an enchanting potion. So the two easiest things are blue butterfly wings and snowberries. Snowberries are right outside of Helgen. Uh, blue butterflies, they're right outside of Whiterun. Or you can buy the ingredients. So, what this is going to do... Let's see, that's... Uh, that's 14 million. That's a lot. That's probably too much. I offer remedies but for ailments, both you make at least four of these. Let me know if I can be of or you could just make one. And then all you have to do is go find an arcane enchanter. If, if you have the skills that you want already. Um, there's actually one up the hill at Dragon's Reach. And you enchant your gear with whatever you want. Health, You'll find fortify tonics, smithing, salves, fortify magic, potions on my shelves. whatever Rise you want. Just, content. I mean, go crazy with it. So that is the restoration glitch. And then, um, yeah, you guys can go from there and just have a blast. All right. I'm going to go into speech and, for ailments, both common and rare. probably the merchant glitch after this. All right. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to... Give me a like, click, and comment, subscribe.